This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, three hours left to go in the trading day, and we got a positive market so far on Tuesday. S&P is up 22 points, trading at 28.66. we got the NASDAQ right now positive by 86 points, more than a full percent, trading at 77.88, and the Dow up 158 points, trading at 25,838. Dollar index up 121 ticks, trading at 97.885. We got gold off four dollars, trading at 12.73. Oil off 14 cents, trading at 62.94. And notes and bonds slightly lower price and higher yield. Ten-year note off four ticks, 124.04. Thirty-year bond off six ticks, 149.06. Excuse me. We start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. And a pretty choppy uh, morning slash afternoon. We'll see what happens coming into, of course, the Memorial Long Weekend. Memorial Day Long, long Weekend coming up on Friday. 25,832 in the Dow. Pretty much right in the middle of the day's trading range. S&Ps, <clears throat> pretty close to the high that we reached. We'll get that 2870 just about two hours ago. You get the S&P June contract trading 2866. NASDAQ 100 trading 74.67 near the upper range as well. Crude oil pulling back pretty sharply today. We had crude up to 63.77 at 7 a.m. We trade down to a low at noon of about 62.79. From there up a bit, 63.09 the price of crude. We'll get the API number tonight, three and a half hours from right now, 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. Gold contract volatility as well, dip below 1270 briefly this morning to 1269 back up there 1272.75 and we already covered that crude oil chart jumping around in terms of what else you have happening in the market one of the stories i was looking at is that Kohl's coming out with their earnings disappointing pretty heavily one of the big numbers in there comp sales falling 3.4 percent in the first quarter the estimate was almost flat Pretty remarkable, and there's the analysis of their comp sales. You can see, I mean, going back to the beginning of 2018, quite a number, 6%, right? Almost 4%, 4%, and then quite a drop off to minus 3.4% on the comp sales, and to see how that is hitting the stock. There's Kohl's, quite a decline, and even today, 57.44, putting it on a shorter time frame, quite a drop on those earnings. Climbing back a bit, though, from that 54 low. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien at 3. Have a great Tuesday.